Please help support the channel by visiting our Amazon store, affiliate link below. Hey, what's going on everyone? My name is Matt Jarbo, this is Three Buck Theater, and this is one of those stories that I kind of can't help but chuckle at a little bit, because I do believe that some people are taking their hatred of Rotten Tomatoes a, a, a wee bit too far. Uh, in this case, it does come across as, well, Star Wars fans, or some Star Wars fans, not many, only uh, only a little over 600 at this point. But there's been a change.org petition uh, to basically get Universal and other companies to pull out of uh, Rotten Tomatoes and get Fandango to shut it down. In fact, this is what the petition says. Petitioning Universal Studios, Warner Brothers, Sony Pictures, Paramount Pictures. Shut down Rotten Tomatoes, they have flawed critics and audience aggregate rating system. Coming from Andre Gomez from Poland, saying here that uh, Rotten Tomatoes has a very flawed aggregate rating system. Take, for example, critics' ratings for Star Wars The Last Jedi, 93%, Ghostbusters, 73%, and Sharknado, 82%. All of these movies got high ratings, but from audience, these movies got very low ratings. These movies are extremely hated by fans and general public. Most of the critics on Rotten Tomatoes gives favorable reviews to Disney blockbuster movies. One RT critic from Collider bashed the fan base who hated The Last Jedi during a YouTube vlog. Many critics on Rotten Tomatoes are extremely toxic and they are unprofessional. The critics from such outlets as Mashable, Collider, Screen Junkies, The Hollywood Reporter, Forbes, IndieWire are extremely toxic on social media and unprofessional with their reviews. Rotten Tomatoes has a very flawed aggregate rating and broken system. 3 out of 5 score for a Disney film is listed as fresh good, and the same 3 out of 5 score for non-Disney blockbusters are listed as rotten slash bad reviews. The tomato meter system is extremely broken and unreliable. For example, if a movie has an aggregate critics rating score of 6 out of 10, and another movie has a 9 out of 10 aggregate critics score, both movies will have 90% on the tomato meter. Rotten Tomatoes is a horrible review aggregate site and very unreliable. IMDB and Metacritic ratings are more reliable sites for movie reviews. The broken Rotten Tomato system can hurt the movie industry because most of the audience watch the movies based on Rotten Tomato score, and the broken system is like cancer to movie industry and audience. In short, Rotten Tomatoes will be the plague for non-Disney movies as RT score doesn't accurately tell which movie is bad, average, or good. Now, I, I get here what, what, what he's saying. I, I, I understand that. But just a few months ago, a study came out that showed that Rotten Tomatoes doesn't actually uh, impact box offices. Uh, and this is on Variety.com. So these kind of things, these, these kind of, 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 of feelings towards Rotten Tomatoes aren't always the most accurate. Now, I have not made my disdain for Rotten Tomatoes unknown. I'm not a fan of the platform. And it's not because I'm, I'm not a fan of... Uh, the aggregate system, it's how people treat it, right? It's, it has kind of become the be all end all of movie ratings and movie criticism. Now, as far as I understand, when a critic for a website submits a review to Rotten Tomatoes, they uh, are given the option of giving it a score or a, a, a rotten or fresh score. Uh, and then in some cases, I do believe that the staff of Fandango's Rotten Tomatoes comes in and, and kind of applies their own. Um, it feels fishy from time to time. And I just find it interesting that you have this guy uh, rallying against Rotten Tomatoes in hopes of getting it taken down. But so far, he's only got 660 plus signatures, nowhere near anything that would be remotely significant for getting something like this uh, to the attention of Warner Brothers, who I do believe has a, a larger stake in the platform rather than the other studios listed. I get it. I get it. There is a hot battle over Rotten Tomatoes. There is a huge fight in regards of this platform. And he said IMDb uh, and Metacritic are better overall. I don't know if I'd say IMDb is Metacritic, maybe. Um, but it's a very hard metric to gauge how people uh, look at these movies. It, it is. And, you know, they, they argue in some cases that it's very scientific. But I think when you look at the critic score, uh, it's far more... Uh, far more nuanced than maybe the audience score. I look at it as more like the the critic score is, you know, it's their it's their opinion, but the audience is is a more raw, right? It, this is more curated. This is more raw, essentially. And when you break it down, I think the audience is going to give you a more accurate representation of how the film is. 
Uh, we oftentimes have friends who have similar tastes to us that will go see movies or watch stuff, and we tend to ask them what we think about it, and they'll give us what their opinion is, and then we go from there. As a person who espouses my opinion on the internet, there are people out there that tell me I have absolute crap taste in movies, and there are people out there that tell me that they have very similar tastes to mine in movies or TV shows, and so they do listen to what I say about liking something or not liking something and as to why, and it becomes very hard <laughs> to discuss these sort of things, this, this sort of petition, because of my dislike of Rotten Tomatoes, I feel like I have to defend it here. And that kind of gives me the heebie-jeebies a little bit. But ultimately, here's what I would suggest uh, to the guy who starts this petition. And people out there who want to wipe Rotten Tomatoes away from the face of the earth, don't don't look at it as, as anything more than just uh, an, uh, kind of a, a marketing tool. That, that's really all it should be. Uh, if you want to see a movie, you know, Go and see it. Uh, if you're not too sure, ask a friend who has seen it. It, it. Don't look at the critic ratings because, yeah, you're going to look at the critical ratings of, let's say, Ghostbusters uh, from 2016 and how, like, they gave it, you know, a fresh rating, which makes no sense because the movie is garbage. Uh, they, they gave, you know, uh, The Last Jedi a fresh rating, which in some cases makes sense. The audience score is reflective of, I think, uh, how true fans have looked at it. But ultimately... Seek out people who you know, who you trust, who share the same opinions as you or similar opinions and tastes, and then go from there. Trying to get these studios to shut down a website to get people to kind of lose their jobs, I, I can't really support. And I find it overall pretty funny that Star Wars fans would do this, uh, especially considering, you know, it's like the audience score has had an impact, I think, on on um on the second week returns of the movie uh also i did well not, maybe not so much the audience score uh, but definitely negative word of mouth has done that so instead of trying to destroy something maybe try to build if you if you want something that rotten tomatoes gone maybe create an alternative maybe create an alternative create a website that does this blog youtube about it talk about it uh add your own opinion out there and see if you can find like-minded people who agree with you or disagree with you, but are always open for a discussion, uh, that could be better than than trying to ask these companies to, to tank a website simply because you don't like it. Anyway, what do you guys think about this? Do you think Rotten Tomatoes should go? Should it should stay? Uh, should it be looked at very much with like a huge grain of salt? These are things I'm curious about. Go ahead and let me know in the comments. My name, of course, is Matt Jarbo. This has been Three Buck Theater. If you guys uh, haven't already, thumbs up the video. Subscribe. Check back often for more content from me. And if you want to see more content, you can do so right now.